Hello, I'm Liz Ackley and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, my Summer in the Garden series of paintings and I've been talking about this for a while so I will share with you in the notes uh, the previous videos that are linked to it in case you want to remind yourself or in case you didn't see them in the first place. And what I'm going to focus on today is a painting development from that messy middle stage onwards, uh, potentially to completion of the work. Uh, and so I'm going to share with you some of my tips and um, approaches that I've been taking. And I should say that prior to um, this sort of the last couple of weeks, I had taken uh, a few days away. And it doesn't really matter whether you go physically away, or whether you just put paintings to one side. But I think that can help when you get to that messy middle stage to have a bit of a breather so that you can kind of take stock, I think really helps. And one of the other things that I really want to mention and emphasise now, and I'll do it throughout, but it's really important that you, I think, that from this point in time, you really want to be collaborating and communicating uh, with the work as a way of unpicking what it is that you want to say with the work. And at the same time, you uh, don't necessarily want to spoil the magic. You don't want to kind of force it before it's ready. You don't want to kind of keep thinking about the end point. So I think for me, at least at this uh, time within the development of the paintings, it's really important to stay in the moment and to really just seek to have that conversation with the work ongoing now. And so I'll share with you some of the ways that I've been sort of unpicking and uh, one of the paintings at least has reached completion so you'll be able to see that. Uh, and so without further ado I'm going to turn the camera around and get going. So these are the paintings, uh, some of the paintings in the messy middle stage, these are the 50 centimetre square paintings. And as you can see they're rich in marks and colours uh, but they now need uh, resolving and focusing and moving on. So this is one of the paintings that I'm going to uh, start to work on and there's quite a few elements of this one that I'm quite happy with and I really like the fact that your kind of eye is drawn into this sort of part where the light is this feeling of actually going under canopies and through to other areas of the garden, which is really uh, what I'm after. And it wasn't planned. This is how this has evolved. And it is one of the things in the garden that I was really uh, noticing when I was there. And so I'm going to do some uh, black and white drawings to start with using charcoal and pencil uh, to sort of familiarise myself with the painting and we'll see how it goes. So all I'm doing is these are small pieces of paper that are 10 centimetres and I'm just literally drawing as quickly as I can because I've only got 45 seconds the painting using charcoal and some pencil and each one is slightly different because I start in a different place. So these are the three uh, 45 second uh, pieces I've done and I'm going to uh, rip one of them up and stick pieces on another and I'm also going to rub quite a bit out from one of them and then go again. And here I'm doing exactly the same thing on a larger piece of paper which is 20 centimetres square and uh, for a couple of minutes. And uh, we did this technique on an Emily Ball course I did a few months ago and I just find it a really useful way of getting back in touch with the painting, noticing what you notice about the painting, about the elements of the painting. So these are the uh, drawings that I've done with the charcoal and although they're not very different um, it's really made me think about various elements of the image and for example on the two on the bigger larger pieces on the left hand side where I've added that collage it's really started to make me think about the um, possibilities of opening up the rather large uh, area on the right hand side which is relatively dark and I'm obviously wanting on the painting, I'm wanting to create that feeling of going through and into the light. So I don't want to destroy that feeling by opening it up too much. But maybe there are ways of opening it up a little bit so that my eye can move through that area on the right hand side, maybe to a greater extent. 
and on the left hand side where on the right hand side sorry of the, the the larger images on the, the the one on the right this made me think about opening up as well and although i like that opening up has it also uh, destroyed what i was just talking about which is that going into it through uh, a more shady area into light so all things to be thought about really. so the other thing i'm doing a lot of at this stage of the process is journaling and thinking about various aspects of writing about uh, the paintings so in this i have this is my series uh journal that i've written in the studio about the uh uh, the, the the subject matter itself and it becomes more and more specific to the paintings as time goes on and I started with just a list of things that were inspiring me about the actual garden itself and then I sort of home in and develop it for individual works and then these were the paint the poems I started with right at the beginning of the process and some of them now become more relevant and I home in on them and use them uh, to help me in, in writing about the in um, thinking about the work and developing it and then finally this becomes really important this naming of the paintings I don't tend to write to wait until the end to name paintings I'm starting to really think about and write about uh, potential names at this stage of the process when I'm moving from the messy middle uh, to the latter stages and so I have a list of all of the different paintings and I start writing notes and it's come to my attention uh, through doing this that the bigger paintings are more about a journey through the garden whereas um, the smaller paintings are more about being within uh, the garden and within the planting. Uh, so that's kind of interesting and uh, I find that having a title can really help in the evolution of the paintings and the conversation uh, with the paintings. So I've evolved this painting a bit since you last saw it and what I'm doing now is using some collage to shake things up uh, in an area that I'm not happy with and I've not managed to change. And so this area underneath the larger red piece is what I'm focusing on because it's always been something that's bugged me. And trying to get the colours exactly right, this desaturated khaki colour is really much better now than it was before. And you'll have seen I tried the pale pink, that didn't really work. And I'm happier now with this colour. And I'm also uh, trying on the right hand side i'm i'm sort of integrating on the left this big shape with the red lines and things and i have several attempts at that scratching through uh, but on the uh, right hand side and as you see at the top there i'm adding this sort of lighter colors um, and sometimes that works and sometimes it just doesn't work this piece i've just added on the right hand side across the painting doesn't work at all and so that needs to come off really um, but it was worth trying just to see whether breaking that shape up works and so sometimes at this stage this is what you need to do um, just to try things but now I'm much happier with the way that the larger shape at the top the red is integrated and I'm using these loops and hoops to further connect it in uh, so that it doesn't look too blocky and so that it feels sort of integrated really. And I'm calling this one Into the Light and it's now finished apart from the finishing jobs uh, which are obviously to seal it and to, to varnish it and frame it and so on. So if I just sort of show you, there's some wonderful textures in this one and details and uh, I'm really loving the sort of light uh, colours against the bright colours, against the sort of desaturated colours and that's why uh, the title is as it is, that idea of drawing you through and into the garden and lots of layers, lots of textures, uh, rich colours and I really like the dark against the light kind of contrast, that sort of brightness. To finish with, I thought I'd just share with you some snippets of some of the other uh, In the Summer Garden uh, paintings that I'm working on. And I'm using similar approaches uh, on these to what I shared with you throughout the video. And uh, as I say, uh, they have some of them have got uh, further to go than others. And so uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please do uh, like and subscribe and I'd love to hear your comments. I hope it's been helpful and I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.